What's up, Internet? This is Ramblin' Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. As I said I would do, I have completed this battle off screen, and you are watching it now in super speed mode. Pretty easy battle, nothing in particular to say about it. But then again, pretty much every time I do one of these things, it's a quote unquote pretty easy battle. That's just the way battles in this game go, I guess. Most of them are fairly similar to one another. But anyways, we took them out, and after doing so, they kick out the ice blocks on the left side of the screen, and we can go backwards if we wanted to do that for some reason. Anyways, now that that's done, we can proceed this way by pushing this block over. Fancy how that works. Examine another floaty silver ball that... I... Don't even really know what exactly it's supposed to do. Or, well, obviously it's supposed to make the ice blocks go... But, like, what are these silver balls? Like, where did they come from? What are they doing here? Would, why would you set up a device within your tower that makes it traversable? For that matter, why is this your tower? Like, why? what's the point of having this giant tower with all this immovable stuff? Like, how are you supposed to get up? Why are all these floors here? I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to be doing here. Well, clearly not that. So, I'm gonna kill these dudes off screen. Okay then. Well, that fight was a little bit harder. Uh, this team just seems to be kind of weak, honestly. Like, Fujin. Yeah, Fujin is pretty much the only one doing any real damage, but whatever. What we actually have to do here is push this top icicle. It does its voodoo, and apparently bashing into the giant silver sphere is close enough to examining it. So, we want to go back this way. And I believe I want to go over through the stairs. Which sends me over. No? No? Uh, well, that's not what I meant to do. doesn't make any difference. So this is more confusing than I thought. Oh, I gotta go to those stairs there. Okay. Which... Does that not mean I should just take these stairs? No, not those ones. These ones. But didn't I try these stairs already? Uh, I guess I got some finagling to do? Yeah, okay. Phew. That was interesting. Uh, now I want to go this uh, 
I completely lost track of where I was going. Let's try that again. I really want to get that treasure. Pretty sure it's just a battle down here, and I actually didn't mean to come down here. Oh well, I'm here now. Guess I'm just gonna have to deal with it. Hmm? Oh, they're just getting rid of the ice blocks. For some unknown reason. But yeah, compared to the other group, these guys just completely wreck face. Admittedly, a lot of that is just because Choco, but... Whatever. So, I actually have to go like this, I think? Or... No, like... Like this. Something like that, anyways. It works. But we get the phrase headdress, which I believe is actually quite good. Uh, it looks like it increases elemental damage. I think that's what it does, anyways. Like, the damage that you deal. Uh, and I believe that it is for females only? So, like, I could put it on Choco. I probably will at some point. But could I put it on Gogan? No, it's for females only. So that's the thing. And there is a giant silver ball here. <laughs> Back to you, losers. So where do these guys go? Uh, well, there's a staircase leading up. That's usually a good bet. Uh, hi. Sup. Uh, cool. Icicles. And monsters. That's a little more inconvenient. Pretty sure there's nothing interesting to this floor. Like, these icicles are basically just here for, like, show, I think. We got some items that I'm pretty sure are useless. Wait. Why does this have a usability? Can I, like... I have no idea what that just did. Interesting. Uh, where did the metal arm go? Eh, it's okay. I mean, as good as all the other shoulder armors. What else did I get? I got... I can't even remember, and I just opened the chest. The amethyst, that's what I got. Meh. Upwards we go, however. So... There's a staircase there. I'm pretty sure there's also a hidden staircase somewhere in this floor. I'm not entirely sure where. Is it in here? Uh, go up. Uh, well, there's a chest here with refreshing shoes, which sound interesting. Increase HP MP every turn. Those could be very interesting. Actually. Uh, I got s between those and the super boots, or whatever they're called, I've got some things to. Yeah. Oh, so there's no hidden staircases. I was just thinking of that, um chest over there that I just opened up with the refreshing shoes. And more dudes. Well, that was a small disaster. Group 1 is not doing so hot. Uh, Fujin is basically completely out of MP at this point. And Ark actually died in that fight. Uh, 
which, I mean, we can, he just comes back afterwards, but, yeah, so, uh, there, this, this group's pretty, uh, well worn down, but thankfully, there is a heal point coming up fairly soon, and, we can go like this, the silver orb thingy is over there, there's the heal point, pretty sure, I guess we just have to hit this now. And back to the good team. Who has some guys of their own to kill. Okay then. And back to the good group, winning things easily. Uh, one thing I want to do uh, that just kind of came to me uh, during this fight was uh, I got those refreshing shoes. And I'm going to put those on Shanti because they restore MP every turn. Then what I'm going to do is give Shanti the goddess charm. That is what it's called, right? Goddess Prayer, and give Lisa the uh, Romancing Stone. Uh, that way, Lisa has infinite MP, and Shanti has half MP cost, but she also has a way to restore her MP. And that just increases the overall uh, longevity of both of my healers. So now I wanna. What? More dudes to kill? Um. Okay. And another battle handily taken care of. Choco's actually leveling up like crazy. She's leveled up seven times in this dungeon so far. That's ridiculous. And... I don't know, like, her stats aren't even that, like, super ridiculous other than her health. And I guess her MP is quite high, too. She's just a really good all-around character. But anyways, up another set of stairs. And if we go like this, we have some hidden treasure. And I'm gonna make some room, because I certainly don't need this. And... I probably don't need all the strength and fruit. Well, I can use that Palos Nut. Uh, agility. Let's get that to go again. He is very slow. And I got a Glacier Dagger. I doubt that's any good. And it's got slow attack. That's kind of nice. But anyways, we can also come down here. And as you may notice, this is the end of Elk's Path. No more places to go for Elk. Yeah. And so now it's back to these fellows. Hit up that much needed heal point. And there lie the stairs to the top of the tower. I have no idea how long this episode has turned out with all the battles and stuff, but for better or for worse, I am... There's a treasure chest over there? Okay, well I'm gonna find out how to get that treasure chest and I will catch you back here for the next episode of Let's Play Ark the Lad 2. Catch you later.